Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First off, we have the um, Page of Cups in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana, the Empress upright. Next, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Four of Wands in the upright. So... For your overall energy, we have that of the Page of Cups in the upright position. Page of Cups is beautiful energy. I really love the Page of Cups. This is a court card, though. It could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy. That of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Could be that you're getting some sweet little love messages. Or maybe for some of you, someone has a crush on you, Sagittarius, and is sending you messages. Could be a water sign. Could be any sign. Uh, for others of you, perhaps this is representative of a child or a grandchild being extra sweet. Uh, uh, to you this week just really kind of making your day or, or sorry your week because this is your overall energy and uh, this could be representative of someone being extremely sweet kind maybe even uh, offering an apology if you had a falling out with someone it could be that they're offering you an apology very very sweet beautiful energy coming right off the hop in the beginning of the week we do have the um Empress in the upright position. This could be a representative of a mother, a mother figure, um, head of a head of a foundation, basically a CEO, um, someone in a position of power. And when they're in the upright position, this person could be in a position to be able to help you. Uh, the Empress can sometimes represent, like, say, a, a headhunter if they're looking uh, for you. Uh, someone's looking for you someone with your type of qualification and they come after you that's what i mean a headhunter not as in a physical headhunter because that would just be wrong so i was a little joke there <laughs> the empress's beautiful energy can represent a mother a baby mama um you know you maybe you're the mother in this situation and being or showing a lot of uh compassion caring and understanding towards someone or this could be someone in your life who is doing that with you could be representative of a counselor if you're having a difficult time with something maybe this is a person that you're going to it's helping you to um you know process some things if you're if you're struggling so it's beautiful energy. The Empress is also representative of abundance. So it's very abundant, very beautiful energy. Whether you have that energy at the beginning of the week or this is someone you're dealing with. Now, <clears throat> it's paired up here with the Four of Swords in the reverse position. This is you no longer. It could be for some of you, Sag. Maybe you were uh, hospitalized or you went through an illness or something like that. Maybe somebody was helping you. See, this would have made sense if it was like in the upright because this is someone helping you, who someone who's just gone through either an emotional blow or a loss or, um, you know, or somebody who's going through a, a divorce or a breakup or something like that. But it seems like this person, maybe they've already helped you and uh, now you're ready to, to get back going again. So it's really nice because the Four of Swords reversed. It's like, okay, I'm out of that energy now. I don't have to be laid up anymore. I can return to action. And then moving towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Pentacles here in the upright position. This is all about reevaluating something. For some of you, you're uh, going over maybe your portfolio or your bank account or something. And you're trying to figure out does this still make sense you know what i mean uh for some of you it's about a relationship that you've invested a lot of time in the relationship could be really super solid but you're wondering is this going anywhere it's always good i say to reevaluate situations whether it be our finances our relationships our jobs uh, anything in life we should always pause from time to time and take a look at it because just because something was once working well or once um, bringing advancement is it still doing so that's the energies of the seven of pentacles we have to look at what's working in our lives and what isn't and and take stock of that in order to go forward instead of just sticking our head in the sand and assuming everything is fine that's what that's all about now the last card you have up is the beautiful three of wands in the upright position you're almost there sag all you need is that one more wand 
and you will have arrived. So it's like you're working towards a goal. Some of you maybe you're putting money aside to, you know, build towards a home or something or to put up for a down payment on a home. Others of you could have been physically building maybe your well, not necessarily you yourself, but you could have hired people to build a home for you. And you're almost, you know, at that summit. Others of you could be a project you were working on uh, for your career or your job and you're almost there. You're almost about to be celebrated and, you know, have this celebration. Very progressive energy. Looks really, really good. Looks like a pretty terrific week for you, Sag. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.